Alright y'all, welcome back to my channel and for those who are new, welcome to the channel and I am back with another one. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make the best seafood mac and cheese you'll ever have. Okay, so you know as usual I'm going to run down the ingredients of what you're going to need to make this and as usual I'm going to list the ingredients and the measurements in the description below. Okay, so to start off I got some sharp cheddar cheese here, I got some smoked gouda cheese here, a little bit of white cheddar cheese here. I got some Gruyere cheese and some mozzarella cheese back here. All of this cheese here I grated myself because it's better to grate your own cheese. It melts much better. And back here I have two boxes of elbow noodles, but I'm only going to be using half of one of the boxes. Okay, so a box and a half of the elbow noodles. Then here I have some peeled, clean, and deveined shrimp and also some lobster tail that I cleaned and removed from the shell and cut into chunks. And here I have some whole milk. Here I have a seasoning blend that's going to be for the shrimp and the, the lobster. I got some flour and some crab meat, of course. All right, y'all, so without further ado, let's head to the stove so we can make this cheese sauce. Before we get started on our cheese sauce, let's season our shrimp and lobster. So I'm just going to take the seasoning blend that I have here, and I'm just going to mix it up all into one. And I like doing it this way to make sure that everything gets evenly distributed to whatever it is that you're putting it on. All right, that's good. I just want to toss that in. Make sure that it's everywhere, guys. And just to let you know, we are not going to be searing this because I don't want it to overcook. This is going to cook in our macaroni and cheese, and I'm going to layer it in there. But as usual, guys, I will show you every step of the way of what it is that I'm doing so that you can do the same. All right, guys, that looks good there. So I'm just going to let this set aside to let it marinate a little bit until we get our cheese sauce done. So now let's really go make our cheese sauce. So to get started with making our roux, we're going to start off with melting one stick of butter. Now that our butter is melted, we're going to go in with our flour. I just want to get this mixed in there. And we're not cooking this down until it turns a color because we're not making gravy. We're just cooking it until it's well blended and we're going to let it go for a minute after that just to cook that floury taste out of it. Then we're going to add in our milk. Alright, so now we're going to go on with our milk because this is ready for it to be added to. So we're going to let this go until it warms up just a bit before we start adding our cheeses because we want the cheese to melt perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to let this go for like a minute with whisking it constantly and I'll be back when it's time to add the cheese. Okay, so our cheese sauce is warm enough, so I'm going to go in with some of our mozzarella cheese. Some of the Gruyere cheese. and some of the smoked Gouda cheese. And also our sharp cheddar cheese. Now once this is mostly melted down, I'm gonna add in some seasonings, which will be the remainder of the seasoning from our shrimp and lobster, which is just about a teaspoon. So I'm gonna let this get melted down and I will show you guys exactly what it's supposed to look like. So our cheese sauce is done and all the cheeses have melted perfectly and you want to make sure that your cheese sauce is slightly loose just as I instructed you guys in my last macaroni and cheese video which I will link in the description for all of you who haven't seen it yet and if you feel like watching it again I greatly appreciate it. Okay so let me show you the consistency of this sauce that I need for you to have. Okay. 
That is perfect right there because if it's too thick, your sauce is going to make your macaroni and cheese dry. It's going to be very dry. So you need some looseness to your cheese sauce. So now we're just going to go in with our remainder of our seasoning from our shrimp and lobster, which was only about a teaspoon. Nothing much, nothing too crazy. Just going to get that mixed in there. Okay, and that seals the deal on this one. So now let's go over to boiling our pasta. All right, so we're going to add our pasta to our salted boiling water. The second box is just half. Now you just want to move them around a little bit to make sure they don't clump up. And you want to cook your pasta until they are al dente. So make sure you follow your box instructions so that you can do so. And I'll be right back when our elbow noodles are done. All right, y'all. So our elbow noodles are done. And I went ahead and tasted them to make sure that they are cooked perfectly, which is al dente. Okay, so now I'm going to take them out and set them into a bowl so that we can finish off this recipe. Okay, so now that our elbow noodles are done, we're going to add in that butter. All right, so now we're just going to mix this in until it's completely melted. And also, guys, I will not be mixing in our lobster, shrimp, and crab meat because, for one, the crab meat is going to just spread too thin and you won't even know that you have crab meat in there. It will just become very stringy. And you want to make sure that you have some of the crab meat in every bite, right? So we're not going to mix it in. And I'm also not going to mix in the shrimp and lobster because I'm going to layer them so that you get some shrimp and lobster in every bite. Okay, so now our noodles are fully coated in the butter. So now I'm just going to add a little black pepper to them. I'm not going to add any seasoning salt because we have so much flavor in our shrimp which is seasoned and also our cheese sauce you're not going to need anything on this pasta and we also salted our water so let's move on to adding our cheese sauce all right let's mix that in and if you think that the cheese sauce is too loose it's really not. This is the perfect consistency because you don't want your macaroni and cheese to be dry. I've been doing it this way for many years. And even with my last macaroni and cheese video, people have been very pleased with trying it out this way. Trust me, it works. Okay, so I'm going to add the rest of our cheese sauce. Guys, this smells so amazing. Like, seriously. Okay, so this is done. Now let's add in our cheeses. I just went in with our white cheddar and the remainder of our Gruyere cheese. Now I'm going to go in with a little mozzarella and the rest of our smoked Gouda. Now I'm going to put some of our sharp cheddar. And that's it for this, guys. Now we're going to layer it up in a pan. All right, so we're going to layer in our mac and cheese to the bottom. Make this easier for myself. Just going to add half to the bottom. Now you just want to spread it around evenly. Now what we're going to do to this is that we're going to take some of the crab meat. Now what we are going to do is we're going to take the shrimp and the lobster and just layer it in there.
Now you want to take some of the lobster. Just place it throughout. Now we're going to take that crab meat. Just sprinkle it on through there. Now what we're going to do to this is for this first layer, we're just going to push everything down into that first layer. This is how we're going to get it into the mac and cheese. Okay, because if I would have mixed it, the crab meat would have just turned into nothing because it would have just thinned out. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some of that mozzarella cheese. Now some of this cheddar cheese. You just want to lightly cover it because remember we already have cheese mixed into the mac and cheese which is going to allow this to melt perfectly in the middle. So now we're going to add the rest of our mac and cheese to the top of this. Alright so here goes guys, the rest of our mac and cheese. All right, so guys, with this part, we're just going to sprinkle in some of our cheese that we have left over onto the top of this macaron. Okay, now we're going to go in with the rest of that crab meat. Now we're going to add the remainder of our lobster. Just space it around. Okay, now we're going to place our shrimp. Now we're going to top this off with the remainder of our cheese. And we are done. And guys, at this point, you should have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. This is going to go in the oven for a half an hour. Then we're going to uncover it for about 10 minutes. All right, guys, so we are done. Now I'm going to cover this with some aluminum foil and place it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Then I'm going to uncover it and let it brown up just a little bit for about 10 minutes. So I'll be back when this is done. All right, y'all, so our seafood mac and cheese is done. It has a beautiful color to it. Everything is cooked perfectly. So now guess what, guys? Let's go cut into it so we can taste it. All right, guys, so I went ahead and put a little bit of fresh parsley on top of this. Now we're ready to dig in. Guys, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Doesn't that look so good? This looks amazing. I can't wait to taste it. So I've only taken a little bit of it. So I can taste, you know, some of everything. So we have the shrimp here. Ooh, and this is piping hot. All right, guys, first bite goes to you. Now to me. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. This is good, guys. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Guys, I definitely recommend this recipe. It is outstanding. The flavors blend well. The shrimp, the lobster, and the crab meat is cooked perfectly.
perfectly. It's not chewy. It's not rubbery. It is to die for. Listen, guys, make sure you try this recipe. And if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and definitely comment below. So with all of that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.